Indianapolis isn't just a city, it's a lifestyle. A place where affordability meets possibility, where family values are cherished and where the pace of life is a little more relaxed. So whether you're a young professional or a growing family or someone looking for a change of scenery, Indy just might be the right fit for you. Hi there, I'm Tony Janko, your realtor extraordinaire here in the vibrant heart of the Midwest, Indianapolis. Now, I wasn't always an Indy resident. In fact, just like you, I've lived in the Chicagoland area. But nearly 30 years ago, I made the move. And let me tell you, it's been one of the best decisions of my life. Over the last 18 years, I've had the privilege of helping over 700 families just like yours find their dream home in Indianapolis. Whether it's buying, selling, or building, I've been there, done that. And because I've lived on both sides of the state line, I'm uniquely qualified to share with you the inside scoop on why you'll love living in Indy and maybe a few reasons why it might not be the perfect fit for everyone. So buckle up because here's five compelling reasons why Indy might just steal your heart. Number one, more house for less money. Let's face it, Chicago's real estate market can be a real beast. The medium home price in the city is a whopping $385,000. But just a short drive south, you'll find a refreshing change of pace. In the charming town of Avon, on the west side of Indianapolis, where I happen to live, the medium home price is around $330,000. That's a cool $55,000 you get to keep in your pocket. And if you're looking to live closer to the action, the medium home price in Indianapolis itself is even more affordable at around $250,000. Imagine what you could do with all that extra cash. In fact, over 77% of the homes in the Indianapolis area are priced under $500,000. And we're not talking about 200 year old fixer uppers at that price. For around 500,000, you can expect to get a newer home around three to 4,000 square feet with three to five bedrooms, stainless appliances, granite countertops, beautiful bathrooms, a two to three car garage, and a generous quarter to half acre lot. And here's the real kicker. Our average price per square foot is around $150, compared to a jaw dropping $286 in the Chicagoland area. That means your money goes significantly further here, giving you more house for your hard earned money. Number two, sunnier days and warmer winters. Chicago winters, need I say more? The wind, the snow, the 32 degrees below freezing, it's enough to make anyone dream of warmer climates. Well, good news, it is here. While the official stats say India averages about 24 inches of snow per year compared to Chicago's 38, I can tell you from personal experience, it's not even close to that. Over the last three years, I've fired up my snowblower a grand total of five times. And this past year, zero, not even once. So if you're dreaming of a place where spring arrives sooner and fall lingers longer, Indy's the place for you. And if you're not a fan of shoveling snow at all, well, there are even neighborhoods where snow removal is included in your HOA dues. Plus, I can refer you to reliable services that will happily take care of that chore for you should you be in a home that does not have an HOA like that. This is one of the things I've enjoyed most about living in Indy. The milder winters mean more time for outdoor activities, less hassle, and a whole lot more sunshine. More sunshine and less shoveling, definitely a win-win. Number three, the cost of living it's a sweet spot with property taxes included. From groceries to gas, healthcare, and entertainment, your dollars go a lot further in Indy. We're talking about 15% lower overall cost of living compared to Chicago. But let's zero in on something that can really hit your wallet hard, property taxes. Having lived outside of Chicago myself, I know firsthand how crippling those property tax bills can be. When my family left Illinois back in 1985, my parents were paying over $3,000 a year on a home valued at $110,000, and that was almost 40 years ago. Here in Indy, it's a different story. Our property tax rate is capped at around 1%, and most of the time, it's even less than that. The further you move from the city center, the lower the taxes tend to be. Imagine owning a half a million dollar home and paying less than $5,000 a year in property taxes. That's a game changer. But it's not just property taxes that you're gonna save on. According to CNN Money, Someone making $100,000 in Chicago would only need to make $76,900 in Indianapolis to maintain that same lifestyle. 
That's because housing is a whopping 44% cheaper, groceries are 14% cheaper, and transportation costs are 27% less expensive. Plus, Indianapolis has a growing job market with opportunities in healthcare, retail, tourism, sports, and manufacturing. It's also known as a good city for remote work with many remote and hybrid job opportunities and co-working spaces. The combination of lower taxes, lower cost of living, and a strong job market means more money in your pocket for the things that matter to you most. Family, vacations, date nights, hobbies, savings, you name it. Indy makes everything more affordable. It's a financial breath of fresh air that you and your family will definitely appreciate. Number four, rush hour. What rush hour? If you're tired of battling gridlock traffic and shelling out money for that toll road, get ready to fall in love with Indy. While we do have a rush hour here, recent studies showed that Chicago has one of the longest commute times of any city, while Indy boasts one of the shortest. That means less time stuck in your car and more time enjoying the things that you love. And unlike Chicago, we don't have those toll roads draining your wallet every time you hit the highway. Indianapolis is home to the Indy 500, so we know a thing or two about speed and efficiency. Our city is always looking at ways to shorten commute times and make getting around as fast and as enjoyable as possible. So say goodbye to endless traffic jams and hello to a smoother, faster commute. You'll have more time to spend with your family, exploring our vibrant city, or just relaxing at home. It's a quality of life upgrade that you'll appreciate every single day. Number five, a family's paradise, but backed by the numbers. Indy isn't just a fantastic place to raise a family. It's a city that's consistently ranked among the best for quality of life, boasting a score of 187 points compared to Chicago's 149. But let's break that down to see what makes it so special. First off, we've got a thriving arts and cultural scene with world-class museums like the Newfields and the Indianapolis Museum of Art, not to mention vibrant performing arts venues like the Hilbert Circle Theater and the Cabaret. We also have beautiful parks from the expansive Eagle Creek Park to the urban oasis of the White River State Park. And when it comes to education, Indy really shines. Indiana's four-star school program ensures that schools are held to high standards for academics and accountability. Whether you're looking for public, private, charter, you'll find plenty of excellent options to choose from. Safety is also a top priority here. Indianapolis consistently earns high safety ratings, giving parents peace of mind, knowing that their children are growing up in a safe environment. But what really sets Indy apart is its unique blend of family-friendly fun and cultural richness. We're home to the world's largest children's museum, the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, which is a must for any racing enthusiast. The Indianapolis Zoo is always ranked among the nation's best and miles of recreational trails for biking, hiking, and exploring. Plus, our vibrant food scene offers something for every taste. Indy truly is a family's paradise, offering a perfect blend of fun, education, and a strong sense of community. It's a place where your kids can thrive and where you can rediscover the joy of spending quality time together. But there are a few reasons why you might get a little bit homesick for the Windy City. But let's keep it real, there are a couple things you might miss about Chicago. As a proud 1979 Bozo Hot Dog Eating Champion, I can confidently say that I know a thing or two about Chicago style food. And the number one thing that I miss about living near Chicago is just that, the food. The quality, the sheer variety, the diverse options, it's hard to beat. Here in Indy, that's one area that we're still playing catch up. But don't despair, fellow foodies. Thanks to the influx of Chicagoans, just like us, making the move, we've seen some Windy City staples popping up here, like Portillo's, Giordano's, and Lou Malnati's. But as we both know, Chicago's culinary scene is so much more than just hot dogs and deep dish pizza. While Indy does have some fantastic ethnic restaurants and a few hidden gems, you'll need to do a little bit more digging to find them. They're not on every corner in every town like they are in Chicago. But hey, there's a silver lining to this. With fewer temptations on every block, you might just find it's a little bit easier to shed those unwanted pounds. So while Indy's food scene is growing rapidly and has some amazing hidden gems, it's not quite as diverse or readily available as Chicago's yet. But who knows? Maybe with your discerning palates and adventurous spirit, you'll be the one to help us take it to the next level. The number two reason you might miss Chicago is that big city energy. We've got energy just with a little bit of a twist. 
If you're a night owl who thrives on the nonstop buzz of a major city, Indianapolis more laid back atmosphere might take some getting used to. But don't count us out yet. While our venues might be smaller, that also means less traffic and easier access to the fun. We've got our own unique brand of nightlife. For instance, we boast one of the best blues bars in the country, the legendary Slippery Noodle Inn, where you can soak in some soulful tunes and rich history. And if outdoor concerts are your jam, the White River State Park offers incredible setting for live music under the stars. Indy's comedy scene is also on point, with several clubs attracting top-notch talent from around the country. You'll be rolling in the aisles with laughter, guaranteed. But what if you're craving a bit more of that Russian division vibe? We'll head over to the Broad Ripple Village. This lively neighborhood is packed with more bars per block than anywhere else in Indiana. You'll also find everything from trendy cocktail lounges to cozy pubs, all within walking distance from one another. So while Indy might have a slower pace overall, we've still got plenty of energy and excitement to offer. It's just a bit more relaxed, a bit more approachable, and that's part of our charm. All right, folks, we've covered a lot of ground today, from affordable housing to lower taxes, warmer winters, easier commutes. We've talked about the Indy's family-friendly vibe, its growing food scene, and its unique brand of nightlife. So what's the verdict? If you're looking for a more affordable, family-orientated city with a welcoming community, excellent schools, less traffic, and a whole lot more sunshine, then Indy just might be the perfect place for you to call home. But if you're a diehard foodie who can't live without world-class culinary scene on every corner, or if you thrive on nonstop energy of a mega city that never sleeps, then you might find yourself missing some of these Chicago perks. The choice is yours, but if you're ready to ditch the snow shovel and embrace a more relaxed pace of life, I'm here to help you discover everything Indy has to offer. Got questions? Feel free to drop them in the comments below and I'll get back to you with the inside scoop. And if you're seriously considering making a move, reach out to me directly. Let's explore your options and find a perfect neighborhood and home for you and your family right here in the Hoosier State. I hope you enjoyed watching this and I hope to see you again soon in India. Thanks.